This item is called Downward Facing Dog by Ambera Willman, who was born in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia in 1982. This item was made in 2018 and is made out of oil and acrylic on canvas. It is part of the collection of François Arroy in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. In revisited aspects of Western Canadian figurative traditions, Ambera Wellman questions violence, eroticism, and the depiction of women. She proposes a more sensitive approach, creating images that attract us as well as defy easy interpretations. Wilman makes paintings that twist the conventional codes of representation. Depicting porcelain monsters, her figures seem to belong to a parallel universe, to worlds lying between the wondrous and the horrific. From a fair distance, viewers believe the precision of the painting and its hyperrealism. Getting closer, they will see that the brush strokes are loose and the image disappears as a result of the painting medium on the surface of the canvas. The juxtapositions of the legs, feet, and hands with more intimate parts of the human body, such as armpits, eyelids, and lashes, produce tensions and associations similar to certain surrealist works like cadavre exquisite or exquisite corpses. This particular item was found at the Cotonage Cultural Center, uh, as I've indicated in other videos uh, in, in, on my channel. We have uh, many cultural centers in the island of Montreal. So basically every city, every borough of the island of Montreal has its own cultural center that will have a whole multitude of artistic uh, activities. Uh, maybe plays, maybe musicals, uh, or uh, in this case, it was an art exhibit, etc. So it all varies on uh, the art exhibit itself or the uh, cultural center, what kind of activities that they are able, able to uh, have. I'm lucky enough where right now I will eventually be moving the cultural center that uh, is at uh, where I am in the borough that I live. Uh, has a whole multitude of different kinds of activities. This was part of the art exhibit called Contemporary Artists at Play, Flirting with Codes, Tricks, and Subterfuge. So in this particular exhibit, all the artifacts that you found really uh, were meant to question what is reality, what is real, what is the quote-unquote truth in the world that we live in, right? There was a particular statue of a human being with uh, the Mickey Mouse ears that we think of when we hear uh, Disney World, etc., and kind of played on that. Um, so I really liked this particular exhibit because of that, right? It was there to question reality, question what do we understand as truth, as the quote unquote real world, right? We hear a lot of people saying facts over feelings. I've said that before. I'm not going to be, you know, so I tried to pretend like I've never said it, right? Because we assume there's going to be a certain amount of things that that is the world. That's how the world operates. When in reality, that may just be one of many options of how the world works, right? Um, we don't know for a fact in reality whether or not uh, reality is it is independent of our own thoughts, our own feelings, or do we create our reality, right? So for those of you like myself who learned about Descartes, right, or uh, Descartes, for those of you who know about the Cartesian maps, Descartes is the one who came out with the Cartesian maps, but also I think therefore I am um, in his manifesto, in his philosophy books, he questioned what makes reality, right? Reality can be a complete fiction, 
right when i dream in that moment i truly believe whatever it is that i'm dreaming is the quote-unquote real world but then of course you wake up and oh wait a minute whatever was going on in your dream wasn't happening but is it right it could be the other way around you were in the real world but when you wake up you're in the dreaming world right there's nothing that guarantees that what you're seeing what you're going through is a hundred percent the truth the fact the quote-unquote reality of things right when you're dreaming you go through a certain amount of emotions you see things you feel things right if you touch ice it feels cold to you if you touch something that's hot it feels hot to you right so if you touch you know uh, a fire it feels hot to you right you're going through all of these uh, experiences or feelings but when you wake up poof it's all gone right so in this particular exhibit you have a lot of art artifacts and art that make you question well what's real what's normal what's quote unquote the truth right um so i do like that kind of artwork and painting it's on artifacts that kind of make you take a step back and wonder well what is reality what is the truth what is fact what is feeling right um now obviously i'm not here to tell you guys the answer and oh i have i have the truth uh hopefully you guys take the moment to think and to question your world and to question what what is your reality i don't have the answer i'm not here to wag my finger at you guys and you must live the life that i live uh i i highly doubt that my life is going to be compatible or great for everybody else my life is just that it's mine and mine alone and it's definitely not going to be perfect for everybody there's lots of people out there who have in their minds a better life than i have and vice versa that's absolutely fine so hopefully in this uh video you guys were able to take a look back think a little bit about uh some of the issues or reality what is reality what is truth uh hopefully you guys are able to do that but if not i hope that you guys enjoyed this video anyways and that at the very least it had you uh you know asking a few questions if ever you guys have an artist or topic that you guys want me to talk about don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section so have a great day guys